Hello everybody, this is N64 by 44 and today I'm bringing you a very special video. Why is it so special? Because I'm going to be showing off some of the rarest games I have. And they of course are my Capcom vs. Series games. Now, I am going to be doing this video for a reason. Because pretty soon, on my, Dreamca on my Dreamcast, yes I got a Dreamcast, I'm going to be getting Capcom vs. SNK and I hope it's... It's supposed to be really awesome, and I hope it's just as awesome as everybody says it is. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let's get on with it. I'm going to be starting with my earliest uh, versus series game, by the way. I didn't. These aren't in the order of how I got them. They're order of how they came out. So let's start with the earliest one. Okay. X-Men Children of the Atom. Now, I don't know if this case is telling the truth. I don't know if this was... A number one arcade smash or not, but you people can tell me that on the comments section. Uh, yeah, which is going to be down here. Just checking. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this game is actually pretty good, but uh, it, I find it actually to be kind of hard. Well, that's, not that that's a bad thing or anything, but it's re yeah, it's really hard. Uh, yeah, there, I wouldn't, lots of people wouldn't classify this as a versus game, but, uh, I kind of would because you can unlock one Street Fighter character in it that's secret. You know, everybody knows Akuma, right? Akuma, you know. Yeah. I hope you know. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Capcom. No. Uh, X-Men Children of the Atom. Awesome game. Anyway. Next. Marvel vs. Capcom. And no, I'm not lying. I have Marvel vs. Capcom on PlayStation. And it's not a burnt copy or a ROM or anything. It's a, it's an, it's a, it's an actual copy of the game. And I don't know how rare this is, because I know the Dreamcast ones are pretty common, but I don't know too much about this one because I don't research it much because I already own it. But yeah, anyway, it may look like the game is complete, but uh, it does have the disc, which and I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a few scratches on it. Uh, now it may look like it has the manual, but it's empty. All it has is two pages on it, a cover basically. Uh, yeah. I don't know how that happened either. I got it brand new when it came out, and it didn't have a manual in it. I guess you can't have everything though. I don't know how it would be worth a lot with that manual though. Uh, even without, it's still probably worth a ton. Anyway, next game. I don't know if it's rare or like equally as rare or anything, but it's even awesomer than that one. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, yeah, I also got this one that was brand new, and now I'm sad I opened it because it's worth like 200 bucks. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I would never trade this game in for the world because it's awesome. I've unlocked every single character as well, and that's a pretty big accomplishment considering it took me like several years. Well, not really, I just never saved. Uh, yeah, but so anyway, awesome game. I definitely recommend it. It's got uh, like 50-something characters in it. Uh, if you can refresh me with the comments, and yeah, you can refresh me. Uh, yeah, so anyway, last game that I have in my Versus series is Capcom Fighting Evolution, uh, or Fighting Jam if you're a European. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess this is kind of a Versus series game, because it has characters from Street because it has characters from all the different Capcom fighting franchises, well, uh, most of them, all the 2D ones at any rate. Uh, as you can see, it's Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, Darkstalkers, and this Japanese-only game called Red Earth. Now, it's an awesome game. Yeah, awesome. I definitely recommend it if you pick it up, because it's awesome. Yeah, but anyway... That's my Versus Series collection. Uh, this was kind of a short video, but I hope you all enjoyed it anyway. And uh, one day I might make a video about Capcom versus SNK. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. And 